if you have a few solutions of a homogeneous linear system, then any superposition will be a solution too. That is nice, of course, but how do we know that we have found all solutions of our problem? So when do we have the general solution? To answer that, we have the Ronskin again. You may have encountered the Ronskin already when studying second order linear differential equations. So how does this work in the case of systems of differential equations? That is what you will see in this video. So here again, homogeneous and linear, so x prime equals a times x, x in Rn, factor with n components, and a in n times n matrix, and suppose we have found a set of solutions x1, x2, x3, up to xn. Suppose we have found those already. Then we can form the Ronsky matrix. Just put your solutions as columns into a matrix, and I call this the matrix W. Now, when do, uh, uh, when do we have a general solution? The Ronskin is the determinant of this matrix, so the determinant of this matrix with columns x1 up to xn, that determinant should be non-zero. If the determinant is non-zero at some time, t0, then we know that the solutions x1 up to xn are independent at t equals t0, so then they are independent on one time step, and then if this uh, Ronsky, if this Ronskin is non-zero on a whole interval, so for a number of values of t, then that a set is uh, independent on this entire interval, and then the set is called a fundamental set of solutions. Now, if you have a fundamental set of solutions, then the general solution of this problem is given by the linear combination of the solutions we found, and the general problem of general solution of this problem equals c1 times x1 plus c2 times x2 up to cn times xn. Now let's do a small example. Here we have our x prime equals a times x. Here we have a matrix A. Uh, now we have found two solutions, x1 and x2. Uh, so a solution equals x equals c1, x1 plus c2, x2. Is that all the rest? Is this a general solution? We check the wrong skin, so we form the determinant of the matrix W, where we put x1 and x2, we compute the determinant, we get, we get e to the power 3t times minus 2 e to the power minus t, gives us minus 2 e to the power 2t, minus 2 times e to the power 2t, gives us a minus 4 times e to the power 2t, this is not equal to 0, which means that our solutions are independent, which means that c1, x1 plus c2, x2 is the general solution of this problem over here.